Well, 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 if it isn't Lucifer's favorite pet. Coming to do your master's dirty work again? The loyalty of you absent-minded followers is more of a joke than that fallen fool. What's with the blank stare, demon? Did you forget how to address your betters? Me. Miss you. Ha! Like I miss Samael. Please. Having you faithless animals out of our sacred hall is a boon to me. You can use your wily ways and charms to destroy someone else's realm. Ugh. Cease your fake flattery, and do not call me cute. Least of all when you call my attitude uptight and snobby. Snobby and uptight are cute on me. Such blasphemy! You think your kind are worthy to compliment me? Do not confuse me for those base cherubs, filth. By the Holy One, you are just like Lucifer. Flirtation and honeyed words with ulterior motives behind them. He could teach a class, couldn't he? Ha! You will never make a sinner out of me, demon, because I am above temptation. As I have told you for so many centuries, each time you attempt to weasel your way into my good graces. I have no good graces. Is that right? Then what do I have? An ass that you wish to see if it is as uptight as I am. You pig! Catching my slaps doesn't grant you superiority over me. It just means I shouldn't waste my energy on you. I sound like my brother Lucifer. <sighs> Do not be flippant with me, demon, and do not call that fallen filth my brother. He lost that honor, just as he's lost all respect by his fellow angels. Now my beloved father has another to spread his good word. You do not get to lecture me on my work when you're nothing more than an errand boy, imp. I am what stands between the prosperity of our realm from being tainted by vile mongrels such as you. Passing a judgment that determines if a soul gets to ascend or fall to where fire and brimstone will devour their flesh is quite an honor. I do not speak as a future usurper. I would never dream of it. I simply do as my Lord commands and inspect those who think themselves worthy of passing through our sacred gates. Just because they scream the Holy Son's name and accept him as their Lord and Savior doesn't give them leave to enter heaven. It never has. Yes, yes, we are heaven. We must be accepting of all seeking forgiveness. A shame I am not so foolish as to fall victim to shallow words. Not like Gabriel, my father, or the Holy Son. Listen, Imp, as much as I would love to continue this little chat, I do have a job to do. There are hundreds of humans wanting to pass the gates. Not that humans deserve to be up here. But if Father wishes it, who am I to judge? The irony of my statement is not lost on me if you'll excuse me. Release my hand, demon, at once. Pardon me. If I do not bring my attitude lower than the clouds, I'll find myself fallen as well. Oh, your concern for me is nauseatingly touching, but not necessary. <laughs> I have no reason to fear falling. After all, my Lord Father treasures loyalty above all else. 
And who else besides me is more loyal? Once again, I bid you adieu. And please, do not be here when I return. This miserable human world always stinks of their obnoxious fuel-based vehicles, body odor, and that overpowering stench of multiple foods trying to compete for attention. Not to mention the noise. By the holy sun, can this human world ever just be quiet for a day or two? <sighs> it was quiet for many millennia after that giant rock eliminated their dinosaurs. Sure went quiet during the plagues. Calm, peace, quiet, serenity. Do not allow this base world to rattle you. You are above all of that. Besides, it isn't going to change the fact that your schedule is full and getting fuller. And many a stupid decision are the cause of it. All right, first up, a little time stop to evaluate what brings me to this cesspit. Name, don't care. Occupation, not important. I don't care what your parentage is, and I especially don't care when you were born. Aha! What brings you clinging to life in this fuel-leaking vehicle? Why am I not surprised? Aren't you big city humans just the hallmarks for consuming strong drink and attempting to take yourselves home behind the wheels of these death chariots? None of you ever learn. It will never happen to me. That's what all of your kind believe. So much so that even when reprimanded, you go and do it all over again. In fact, according to my notes here, you've been reprimanded so many times that you've been incarcerated, revoked from driving, and even confined to your home. Still, you never learn. Now you have killed this whole family, who, by the looks of their bags, were simply out for a family outing. Your kind have no place in heaven. All you do is cause pain and suffering. All you do is cause pain and suffering for your own selfish ends. You deserve Lucifer. Away with you. As for you, precious family of five, know that you will be welcomed in the heavens embrace with open arms and want for nothing as eternal bliss cares for your souls. With that settled, what's next? Ugh, one of these again. What are they called? Overdoses? Probably just another street urchin. Very well, I'll just send them down to Lucifer. They don't deserve salvation. If they truly wished for it, they wouldn't have resorted to such a disgusting activity. This is one of those medical buildings. Ineffective. A waste of resources. Why bother saving a body that is constantly trying to kill itself? It might be easier just to let all of you pass without further suffering. Ugh, such an enormous building, full of sick and dying. What a waste of my time. These humans aren't meant to live longer than their fleeting lifespans dictate. Who are these medical professionals to deny what life intended? Just as life begins, it is meant to end. Denying it or prolonging it is not only pointless, it is just disgraceful. 
how arrogant the human race is. Just accept your fate with some dignity. Going through each and every one of you would be a waste of my time. If you are confined here, clearly you aren't meant to leave. Therefore, my final judgment is thus. Ascend to the clouds, O oh angels bound to this mortal plane. Spread your wings, don your golden halos, and take flight. The deed is done, and my work is less cumbersome. Now, to move on to... <laughs> My wing! This... This spear... It has me pinned. No. No. Gabriel! Gabriel! Release me at once! Why have you harpooned me to this spot? Because, Angel, neither I or our Lord Father can overlook your transgressions any longer. My transgressions? Brother, what do you mean? I have always served our Lord Father and you faithfully since my ascension. No, Angel. You have served yourself your own self-satisfying agenda. I have tried for many centuries to look over this behavior, convinced myself that... I was only seeing what I did because of Lucifer's brutal sting so harshly. But it has become clear to me that... I have no agenda. You? I do only as our Lord commands. Gabriel, please! Pass judgments based upon your very distorted bias for the human race. You judge them for the mistakes of one portion of their lives, ignoring how... How and what shaped them into what they are? What shaped them? They are not clay, Gabriel. They are imperfect beings who made their choices. Those choices make them unworthy to cross into heaven. Not all choices are ours. You of all people know this very well. After all, I forgave you for your sins, did I not? Made you my sister, and someone I could come to depend on. A mistake I should have seen. You condemned a man taken by the devil's drink, but never bothered to understand the victimization of circumstances of why he drank. You blessed a woman who took her own life, never thinking to see beyond and find the crime she sought to, to escape. And this this is unforgivable. You just dispatched an entire building of people, 90% which were nowhere near death's door, for no greater reason than, than that you felt their lives were too worthless to even give it a fighting chance. Gabriel. This is far from the first time you've watched this world suffer when it was struck by plagues, you mock those afflicted by famine and claimed it was their fault for starving. You commended the murder of innocents during the rich trials. And, worst of all, you have declared time and time again that heaven is not a place to welcome the departed, that all humans, imperfect and infantile, deserve to burn, only to be reincarnated and burn again. That is not what we stand for. That is not what our Lord Father envisioned when he chose us. Not even the disciples of the Holy Son are this despicable. So, what are you saying, Gabriel? Am I to be stripped of my wings, of my title? Am I to rummage in the slob like those cherubs and make humans see the error of their ways? No, Angel. That would be merciful. As you were unable to grant humans any mercy, you shall not be given any intended. No, there is only one fate fit for one who has fallen as far as you. I only pray that you rise above yourself again 
or remain fallen like your brother. No. No, Gabriel, please. You can't do this. I can, and I have. Farewell, beloved sister. Gabriel! Bedroom. Not my bedroom. Where is this? Oh, my head. How did I even get here? I was in the middle of work. Finished a judgment and then. and then. Oh, my head pounds when I try to recall. yourself, Angela. Just think and... Mm, that smell. S the smell of fresh tea? Beside me, on this small table, is that ambrosia lemon tea with mint? That's my favorite. And it's hot. Mmm, wow. That tastes amazing. Mind-blowing. But who made it? You. What in the Holy Father's name are you doing here? No, wait. What am I doing here? With you, with this amazing tea. Wait, did you poison this? You had to get the mint from a questionable grocery store. No, no, I don't have time for your jokes. And I don't have time for this tea. I have to get back home. Yes, back home. You know, above the clouds, above you, above it all, so that the stench of what is clearly a human hovel doesn't permeate my skin. Blech. Oh, I can't go home, huh? Watch me. I'm getting up, and with a simple swipe of my fingers, I can... I can... Huh? Huh? Come on, open! What is this? Stupid portals. I told Azriel to get these fixed. I knew we shouldn't have changed providers. No matter, I'll just take the long route. I'll fly up. Stop telling me I can't go home. I can go anywhere I please. I'm one of God's disciples after all. Before I leave, I should check myself out first. And why would I do that? That is, why would I take the advice of a pet demon? What? You found me? Abandoned in the middle of the street. With unflattering scratches. Hmm. I did wake up with a nasty headache. Very well. Just this once, I will accept your sound advice. Do you have a mirror in this hovel? Ah, thank you. <sighs> a very sick joke. I see you took it upon yourself to get me out of my sterilized, holy blessed white gown and put me in this black tainted monstrosity. You will move heaven and earth to taint me, won't you? What else did you do, hmm? Defile my skin with your touch while I was unable to defend myself? You didn't touch me, unlikely. And you didn't 
change me. What do you mean by that? I was in this when you found me. Oh, please, a likely story. Well, whatever the case, I'm just fine. If you'll excuse me. Oh, it was great to spread my wings. You're allowed to be envious of their ivory majesty. Now, to fly and be free of this for... Forsaken? What? What? What is this? My wings. They're... What have you done to my wings? Stop lying. Why have you ba Why have you blackened my wings? No, 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 no. I can't be. You're wrong. This is a trick. A trick by you. You foul demon in your foul tricks. My head. My head, that's it. I must have taken a hit. To make a judgment. I, I must have done this. I must have. This. This can't be. I. I can't be. Why are they? Why are they upside down? <laughs>